On November 4, 1999, an armed gang of bandits called the Asawana Boys killed seven Nigerian policemen in the community of Odi, a predominantly Ija town in Bielsa State. Five other policemen were killed in subsequent days, including a deputy commissioner of police. These thugs were used to perpetuate the federal and state elections in Bielsa State. However, after the elections, they were not properly compensated by their principals and therefore remained in Yanagoa and constituted a nuisance. When they were eventually driven out of Yanagoa by the police, they settled in small communities across the state, including Odi, where they continued their criminal activities. It was these thugs that attacked the policemen in November 1999. Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo wrote to the governor of Bielsa, Diapreye Alami Yeseha, threatening to declare a state of emergency in the state if those responsible for the murders were not apprehended within two weeks. But five days clear of the November 24th ultimatum, Obasanjo lost his patience and invoked his emergency powers. On November 20th, 1999, Obasanjo ordered troops into Odi. The operation, which was codenamed Operation Restore Hope, was supposed to be a search-and-rescue mission to find the killers and bring them to justice. However, what happened in Odi that day was far from a search-and-rescue mission. In a manner only fit for external aggression, the military launched a total offensive on the small town. It was a massacre. Some sources say the military went into Odi with 27 five-ton vehicles loaded with troops four armored personnel carriers, 381mm mortar guns, two pieces of 105mm howitzer artillery, and conventionally equipped machine guns. There are reports that the army was ambushed close to the village, and thus tensions soared. The army broke through the ambush and exchanged fire with armed militias in the village who were believed to be using the civilian population as cover. This and the ambush provocation led to the attack on the civilian population. Eyewitnesses and survivors of the invasion recounted the horror they experienced that day. The military operation began at around 4 a.m. when soldiers surrounded the town and cut off all communication lines. The infantry moved in, killing all in their path, including unarmed civilian residents of the community. After days of the assault, Odi laid in ruins. Houses tumbled in flames and decomposing bodies lined empty streets. The survivors fled. The soldiers reportedly used helicopters to drop bombs and fired artillery shells, destroying homes and killing innocent civilians. The streets of Odi were said to be littered with the bodies of men, women, and children. The Nigerian army claimed that they had only targeted armed militants who had been responsible for the killing of the 12 policemen. However, residents of Odi and human rights organizations disputed the claim. They argued that the military operation was a disproportionate use of force against a civilian population and amounted to a war crime. At the end of the operation, government sources put the casualty figures at 43, including eight soldiers. But a comprehensive research report by Environmental Rights Action put the death toll at 2,483 civilians drawn from 109 families. In 2001, the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt declared the invasion of Odi illegal and unconstitutional, and ordered the Nigerian government to pay compensation to the victims. However, the government refused to comply with the court's ruling and appealed the judgment. The case dragged on for years, and the victims and their families continued to suffer without justice. A landmark judgment by Justice Lambi Akanbi in 2013 upheld the illegality of the action of the army in Odi. He awarded 37.6 billion naira to the community, but the counsel to the federal government resisted the judgment. The matter dragged on for a while before the federal government finally agreed to negotiate with the legal team of the OD community, through the office of the Attorney General. Eventually, the government offered 15 billion naira as all it could pay. The OD massacre is just one example of the brutal tactics used by the Nigerian military. The military has a long history of using violence to suppress dissent, and the people of Nigeria have paid a heavy price for it.